All right, you know the old phrase, money can't buy you love. Well, a couple of college professors say, wait a minute, maybe it can buy you something pretty darn close to love or you'd settle for this. How about happiness? They say they have the proof. Justin Wolfers and Betsy Stevenson are professors at the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School of Business. And uh, as you all know, your recent uh, paper saying that money can buy you happiness has sparked intense interest among economists and media people and many others. So go ahead and uh, make the case, Justin. Why does money buy you happiness? Uh, the why is always the, that's the tricky question. Yeah. The, the thing we're absolutely certain of is people in rich countries are happier than people in poor countries. Uh, rich people are happier than poor people and uh, as countries get richer through time they tend to become happier. The why is a whole heck of a lot harder. You might think that maybe it's all about buying newer, shinier iPods or, or something like that, but there's a lot of things that are associated with being richer. There's time for reflection or time to, to, to hang out with family or uh, just a whole lot less worry or, or pain in your life even. Now Betsy, some would say, I mean that makes sense, right? I, I mean I think that's logical to me, I'm sure to many people watching, but, but then people might say there's this whole Joneses problem, right? People want to be richer than the people next door. So once you start to get money, you start to look around and see who has more and just that whole process in and of itself makes you rather unhappy. Right. Well, I think that that uh, idea um, gained a lot of ground when people believed that richer people were happier within a country than poorer people. But when we looked at the data, it wasn't clear that richer countries were happier than poorer countries. So we can draw a conclusion then that it must be the case that we're all comparing ourselves with our neighbors. And if everybody gets richer, it's... Uh, uh, we're on this treadmill and nobody gets any happier. We're just trying to preserve our rank in society. And our research says that there is a role for absolute income. We're not claiming that people aren't, uh, don't ever compare themselves to their neighbor or that this relative income uh, never matters. But we're certainly finding that it's a much smaller effect than people might have previously thought. And Justin, so overall, what, what, were, you, what were the metrics? I mean, how did you go about doing this? What income levels did you look at? Okay. What people, et cetera? Yeah, uh, so we've looked at really just about every survey taken around the world since uh, in the post-war period uh, where they ask people, how happy are you today? You know, very happy, pretty happy, something like that. Or they ask people, how satisfied are you with your life? Or they say, imagine a ladder, and at the top of the ladder is the best possible life for you, and the bottom of the ladder is the worst possible life. Where do you think you are on this ladder? And uh, richer people seem to be higher up on that ladder. So that's a little bit useful. Um, one of the things that's really fantastic is happiness researchers have gone into the field and really started trying to measure happiness mm -hmm. a lot more closely. So they ask you things like, um, did you smile a lot or laugh a lot yesterday? And it turns out richer countries, people are more likely to report having smiled or laughed yesterday. <laughs> and actually it's true across a whole lot of uh, different emotions or feelings that people might have. And actually the one really interesting exception is they ask, uh, did you feel love yesterday? And you'll be pleased to hear that love is very democratic. Uh, love is as common in rich countries as in poor countries. So hmm. absolutely, money may buy you happiness, but it can't buy you love. Well, you know, I think we will have to leave it on that perfect line. Justin, Betsy, thank you very much. Like I said, I think we can all settle for happiness.